with the number of samples okay so number of samples you are going to give that is going to be given over there like with the evenly spaced numbers okay so that is the working of your lin spaces so like if you <coughs> create if i say uh, some numbers between two different intervals okay or if we want some some sort of numbers between two given starting and stopping limits right like that if i say i want some numbers okay so if i say that i want some numbers from the lens space that um, i need to start my numbers from 1 and i need to stop at 10 sorry and i want some numbers uh, so numpy has oops spelling mistake so ulen space will give me some values that is what i have uh, got here right <coughs> So starting is 1, stopping is 10, and so does the values are there. And now if we count on the number of values, this would be 50 by default, by uh, limb space gives you 50 numbers. Okay. All right. Now, now what is exactly limb space here? What you can see here is the numbers starting from 1, ending at 10 has got some intervals now that intervals are even are evenly spaced you can say right so those are equal between them or we say that like let's consider this as an arithmetic progression ap okay so we will say that this is the d what you can find here it's common difference so the common difference is exactly your intervals in hell in the lens space that is what is that uh, creating an array of evenly spaced values with the number of samples given right very simple if we say like np dot lens space 0 to 9 plus 2 0 to 9 what it says that from 0 to 2 starting from 0 ending at 2 we want some 9 numbers that's it right from 0 to 2 we want some 9 numbers so that has been given 0 is 0.5 sorry 0.25 then 5 then 5 1 2 5 then 5 and then till 2 last number is your 2 and that's your things okay all right so uh, it is not necessary to write the start and stop because those are basically the parameters like in python you have learned the basic functions here there you use parameters like this okay okay right now in lens space there are some of the uh, parameters what you have to use okay so let's say the parameters of your lens space not this Now, those are important actually. Empty parameter is important. So, first is a start, then it is a stop, then you write red step, then you write add point, and data type. Hmm? Okay. Starting and stopping, you have seen. No, sorry, number has been missed. Number of samples. So starting and stopping you have seen right that is your limits now we say n this is your n 9 is your n numbers number of intervals you want is your n so if i say that without writing the <coughs> parameters if i say i want numbers from 0 0.5 to 0 0.75 and some 60 numbers <coughs> or three numbers 0 0.5, 6 to 5, 7, 5. Equal, num equal uh, distance would be there. Okay. 
okay right so what do you find 620.65 20 oh, sorry oh it would be 125 right similarly here you will be getting the same things now i can write np dot lens space with the same thing 0 0.5 who find the difference and 0.75 three numbers i'll say that my red step values are true that is i want to see the stepping value so red step means returning your stepping values steppings you know right in the ranges you go with the intervals the steppings we also say sometimes right so those are basically the things right so we to say lens space of this red step equals to true and we see 0 0.125 so like 0 0.625 plus 0 0.125 0 0.75 right then 0 0.5 plus 0 0.625 sorry 125 gives you 0 0.625 so 0 0.125 is the d common difference hmm? that is your returning stepping values all right <clears throat> next is your end point now end point is something like if you write end point as equals to true hmm? like boolean values only you can write on there so if in this let me copy it If I write here, so I get the last number that is what my stopping limit is 0 0.75 has to be true. But if I make it false, You see, it ends at 0 0.6667 and the uh, limits or you can say the uh, stepping values has been changed. Okay, and this is the table what you are getting here now. Right. Okay. Now, end point is clear to everyone. Writing red step is clear to everyone. Okay. Moving next. Next is your <coughs> D type at the number of samples we have seen. So I write here the D type to be um, NP dot and that is 0, 0 because everything is by 0 0.5, 6 and things, right? So I will be getting everything as 0, null matrix, but still the returning stepping is 0 0.1 because it will be same. So I will not make it integer, I will make it as a um, float. Okay, so these things are being mentioned. All right, next. So, uh, <clears throat> number of samples we have seen, I hope now it is clear. If I say one two hundred, I want some two hundred numbers. So we'll be getting 200 numbers between 1 to 1 equal spacings and all like that okay and also when you will be learning computer vision in the computer vision also you'll be getting that things are being made in numpy okay uh, all right so this is your lens space working it's easy all right now uh, guys yesterday we have looked on let me revise the things what we have done yesterday zero one empty and i all these matrix you see yesterday mm. now uh, as empty there is something called as full a full array 
np dot a full array if i say i want to make a 2 cross 2 array and all the values full with 7 so i will be having an array with a 7 it's very simple right hmm? and if i want a random value so i'll be looking on for random dot some random and if I want same with the 2 cross 2, I'm making that 2 cross 2 with some random values of the arrays. So full basically creates your constant array. And your random gives you an array with some random values. Okay. Your i gives you identity matrix. That's it. Alright. <clears throat> easy. So there I think it's easy. And for your inspections, let me revise those things also. Yesterday we learned for inspections, we have <coughs> some six, five, six uh, different kind of things. Like we have an array, let's say a is equals to np dot in array. Let's create an array. Let's say this is my a. So I say for inspections, what what all we had? A dot shape. And why it is used? I'll just write again once again. That is used for finding the array dimensions. Right? That is it. Just three cross nothing. Right? Then you have something as the length of a. Why it is used? Length of array. Hmm. Okay, then you can have a dot and this could be used for your number of array dimensions. Okay, that is your one. Then you would have a dot uh, size. Now this will be giving you. Sorry, number of array elements that is your three <coughs> next you have learned the type where you can go with the data type of oh, sorry, data type. array elements okay and you can go with the a dot e type dot names too what I say now names could be used for name of d type and at last for inspections uh, I have given you some as type yeah, we have learned this too yesterday if I say it in integers Conversion of array to different data. Make this right. So inspections, I hope, are clear to you. These are the process of inspections. In the placeholders method, you have seen zeros, you have seen ones, you have seen arrange, you have seen length space, full, i, random, and empty. All these have been done, right? In the <coughs> data types, integer 64, right? So 64 bit integer types, float 32, complex, boolean, objects, strings, unicodes, okay? These are the things, right? Now, and for help in the functions, you can go with the infos and all, right? So that we have seen, right? Now, for comparison, we'll be looking now for the comparison. So A is there, let's create B also.
so your b has got b has got 1 to 5 2 3 4 5 6 all right now we'll be doing some of the very simple comparisons okay and after that i'll be going to the task what i have given yesterday to you for doing finding the uh, where different similar codes whether you have done or not we'll see okay. So if I want to see a equal equals b comparisons, okay, in, uh, the num b how you compare the things. So element wise comparisons are being done here, where you can see that where exactly your a and b are equal. So in this place you can find this is equal. So let's see what is there. <coughs> Obviously 2.0 would be there. 1, 2, 3 and you can find the things, okay. Like that. And you can find like uh, where exactly your uh, array is um, greater than or lesser than 2, 3, whatever. So true, false, false. So less than uh, 2, like in the A, if I say it is only the 1. And if you need to compare the uh, array, see, these comparisons are called element wise comparisons. So if, you, if in the projects when you get these type of uh, questions, not exactly, situations you'd be getting in your projects, right? Because you'd be dealing with the data sets. So sometimes you need to go with this comparisons and all. So you have to apply some different, different comparisons. Not always these comparisons would be working. Sometimes you have to apply the array wise comparisons and that can be done using the array is underscore equal like this. Okay. If they a cross b so they are not equal obviously right these are the things all right that is how it works now uh, some aggregate functions could work here now like if a is there i, I want to find the sum of this so a of sum is six Hmm. Minimum value from A is 1, array wise minimum values. If I want to find the maximum value of any uh, array row, like B if I am having, right? So there are two rows. So if I say B dot max and I say that I want to find the uh, first row maximum value. So first row maximum is 4, 5, 6. Like if, if you see the B, we have uh, 1.5, 2, and 3. So from your uh, arrays, so you get the maximum value of your arrays row. That is your 4, 5, and 6. Right? Like 3, 4, 5, and then 4.5 is it. 3, 4, 5, and then 5.5. And here you get 5, 4, 9, and then 6. So this, and if you go with the column wise, you will be getting the column wise 3 and 6. Because 1.5 plus 4 will be giving you. 5.5. Uh, 5. This 5 plus 2 will be giving you 7 and 6 plus 3 gives you 9. So with the column wise you get 3 and 6 at the maximum. And when you go with the row wise, so there you get a 4, 5, 6. The second row to be the best one. Like the maximum value it is going to be hold. Clear. Right? Okay. Then you're going to find in the statistics you might have read, right? Uh, you have to learn. I have given you a book, right? So you need to go through that, the statistic parts. Okay. So, and some uh, robotics part is also given out there in the AIML students I've shared in the WhatsApp, right? So you need to go through those things, right? Okay. So, uh, the cumulative sum, if we talk about cumulative sum of the elements, that can be done like b dot come sum of, if I say the column wise, you get 1.5. 3.5, 6.5, 4, 9, and 15. It's your cumulative sum of your columns. Okay. 
you can find on the web of what is exactly a cumulative sum and you can understand it. All right, moving next. And you can find the mean, median, modes. Modes can be found using the scipy. <coughs> like these are simples. Uh, NumPy has no attribute of median. Mm. Uh, these things are actually changed. Uh, okay. Some like versions are being changed, so some things have been also changed. Yeah. So me np dot median of p is fine. Okay. Then correlation coefficients can be uh, given using working. No, sorry. C O E. No, no, no sorry. Again, it is not working. Is this also changed? Yeah, this is also changed. And next, you can have the standard deviations. Okay. So, these are some aggregate functions. And the last three, four terms, I would guess you might know. If you don't know, you can go with the Googles, just search it. Over. Or you can go with the books I have shared to you. Then you get everything. Okay. All right. Uh, now, in any array, any kind of an array, if I say, like if I say this h is equals to a dot view. A copying arrays. I'm now discussing how to copy an array. A view. So view means creating a view of an array with the same data like in the copy so h will be just a new view to your a that is your 1 2 and 3 if that is what you call as like uh, a new face of a so a new face if this is your face and you make a new face of your a so new face can only be made on that face right so exactly what you are doing like let's say this is a paper okay and you are looking this paper from some right side and now you have made a view that you are making it uh, you are looking on this paper from left hand side but the paper is same right so any changes made on h will be also changed on a right so if i say h of 0 is equals to 3 and h, oops, h is equal to 3 to 3. So if I look on to the a, would be also changed because that was only a view, not a copy. Right? Okay. So if I need to copy, create a copy of an array, I'll just say np dot copy of a. This is your copy of a. If you need to create a deep copy of an array, I'll say g is equals to np dot a dot copy in place of the view. I'll be making the copy and g would be this. Now here if I make g of 2 is equals to uh, 4 and I see my g, it is 3 to 4 but a will not get any changed because it's a copy and the view was having a new face to their data. So I hope those things are good. Because sometimes we get the difference uh, between view and copy. Okay. okay. Now, uh, when you go with sorting your arrays, what I, why I'm dealing with all this because uh, these things are important before going to yesterday's uh, task. What I have given to you. Okay. So sorting an array, so like if I say a dot sort, b dot sort b values 1.523456 so this is how to sort an array now if you want to sort an array or if you want to sort the elements of arrays axis so like uh, if i say uh, let's create some c over there hmm. Uh, 
und Eat Ups. And we don't have a setting in the the sequence. Oh, these two given here. These two are being given here. But, um, C. Is your this? Okay. Now, if I need to sort this, we'll be making it as C dot sort. So if I say c equals to zero, c looks something like one point five two one four five six three two three four five six. Okay, and the same thing changed here as column wise. C looks something like one point five two one four five six three two three four five six. Okay, once it's being sort, it is found to be different. Right, this is how it works. The sorting I think is clear, right? And now I'll look on to some of the arithmetic operators or the functions or mathematical functions here. And then we'll move on to the uh, slicings, subsettings, indexings, then array manipulations, your transposing, changing array shapes, addition removals, and then splitting your arrays then we'll discuss the task one what I have given to you okay. all right so the arithmetic operators here mm -hmm. let's say if I say G is equals to a minus B created a minus B so G would be having values of this subtraction or you can use np dot subtract sorry subtract values of a and b these are the same things right b plus a or np dot add of b and a whatever you write a divide by b or np dot divide of a and b okay divided by v yeah. same things now they also have some different so I'll give you how and where the element wise things are being made okay so these are element wise hmm? and now if I say that I want some exponentiation values of somewhere like exp exponentiation values of uh, like b values so I get these if I say uh, uh, some square roots so square root of B so these will be the square roots okay like this and like uh, the sine cos values sine of a cos of C okay and tan and all tan of a all the rest of the values uh, some of the log values of C right and uh, some dot products you know like a dot B no oh, that could not be done to the shapes are different those will be different say e dot F I have made I think is not defined okay. so let's create some of the dot products so if I say Uh, let's make it to two, okay? So dot product with np dot i and let's say oh, this also has two. Let's get this something like right? if I change it to this, right? Identity matrix are there, so dot products will be obviously like this, okay? So these are some of the uh, arithmetic operators. Now coming to the slicing and indexing parts, going ahead with those areas. 
so if I say a of 2 you know right it's 3 so basically selecting the elements okay and if I say like in the b of 1 plus 2 6.0 right in the b 1 we have 2 of the rows if you see right 0 and 1 so in 1 what is the 2 it's 6 so you have to be understand very uh, neatly right so it's important okay <clears throat> so this is your uh, subsetting parts we say slicings Now, if I say uh, slicing, so if I select some items of A at index 0 and 1, so I'll be making it as A of 0 and 1, this is an area of 2. If I select items at 0, the row 0 and column 1 from the B, so I'll be making it from B, it will be 0 to 2 and then from 1. So it means selecting your items at rows. 0 okay and in the column so between 0 and 1 in column 1 so what do you get in 2 and 5 okay so in 0 and 1 in the column 1 that's it things okay and let's start now if you make it like this b of this so basically it means to select all the items at row 0 and there you get but if you make like c of 1 or you make like this and dot 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 what you say the this is the same as what we say the one the same thing okay reverse a now if you say a of c of The reverse of your arrays. Okay. Next, we can go with the Boolean indexing, like in the A. If I want to see uh, the elements in the A where it is less than two, it would be like this. So that's us. Mm, why does it okay less than four? So it's two to three. If I say less than three, so it's array of two. Okay. And then you can go with some kind of call as fancy indexing okay so like if I say this would be quite difficult to understand but it's easy oh, save mismatches there so four two six and five now you understand what exactly is there so one of zero zero of one so you understand the things like not exactly like this you will be saying as one of zero so this is your b this is your one one of zero is four so the head is four then you have zero of one so this is your zero and zero of one is your two so it is two then one of two would be this is your one and this two is six so here you get six and then your uh, 0 of 0 so this is 0 of 0 is 1.5 I guess it is clear to you one more we'll be getting it more clearly I'm <coughs> sorry or if we take it from like like this so you get four five six four basically what you are doing is you are selecting a subset of the matrix rows and columns okay so one zero one zero and then starting from the rows all the rows so basically two rows are there right so you, you are making this up two times zero one two zero so one of zero four five six four the same things what we have done in the above one okay need to understand the things easy these are okay. 
Uh, let's complete quick. Then we come to the array manipulations. Now, array manipulations has got some of the transposing arrays, changing array shapes, adding and removing elements, combining your arrays, and um, you know, like uh, splitting your arrays and all those things. Okay, so um, if you need to permute array dimensions or you need to transpose your array dimensions, so you can make it easily. Like if I say here. So if I say that i is equals to np dot transpose of b, so i would be this 1.54, basically a you can say an advanced version of a reshape. Hmm? Or you can use this. Oh, sorry. This. So what I have done above is this, right? Changing shapes and all you have seen, right? And if you want to flat your array, you can use np dot flatten your b. Oh, sorry, it's not doing. So like b dot flatten, it will be flat like converted in one dimension or you can use np dot ravel or v dot ravel it's converting things here or you can use a negative of a reshape here to get the things as a shame same thing right <coughs> and you want to resize something like h i'm having here two three three i want to resize this I will be making it as h dot resize and let's say in 2 cross 6 if you make so uh, it is not um, data hmm? what's the problem it's not own set data hmm, okay fine no issues Cannot resize the area of references or reference when it functions at all. Okay. Something is being changed. Oops. Okay. And the methods have been changed. So we can use this. I say a is equals to an array which is having 0 1 2 3 so resizing a in 2 cross 3 basically what it says 2 rows and 3 columns so first time you will get 0 1 2 and 3 your things and then again it will start 0 1 so if I say if I say it for 8 times so it will go 0 1 2 3 0 1 2 3 and then 0 1 2 3 then 0 1 2 3 for 8 times right that is you, you should have eight columns like what you are writing here if you write even eight it would be going it through right the 
things. 80 columns, it will be having 80 columns. That is your tree size. Okay, and like you can go with np dot append the things. Uh, if I say in a, if I want to append some, uh, no, like three, four, five. So in zero, one, two, three, I have it appended three, four, and five like that. Okay. If you want to insert, you can use insert method for adding values. I'm going to tell you right. So there you can also use like in the a you want to insert one and five. So in a, what is there? It is your A. So basically, what is your A? This is your A which is having 0, 1, 2, 3. So in 0, 1, 2, 3, in the first place, you are appending 5. That is how you do it in the lists, right? And if you want to delete something, then use delete. And like from the A, if you want to delete the 1, the first, it will be deleted. That's 0, 1. And it will be 0, 2, 3. 1 is being deleted. Okay. Now we need to combine two arrays. Okay. A is there. If I say B equals to NP dot, oh, sorry, not B. Let's say D is equals to NP dot full of 2 plus 2, with 2. So D is also like this. Now if I need to concatenate this, I'll say, or uh, if I need to add this, I'll say NP dot concatenate this A and D. So only integer scalars can be converted to scalar indices or what's the issues? You need to write the parentheses, yeah. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 2, 2. This means that, right? So by default, it is in the column. So you need to write in the x is equals to 0. It will be done in the row wise, uh, sorry, column wise. So if I uh, make it np dot concatenate in the terms of a and d, and in the x is as to be 1, it would be done in the row wise. Or it can be done with like um, vertical stacking if you want. You can write with this. The same things in the vertical. If you want, you can write in the A cross B. Just a minute. Okay. So, V stack has got some difficulties. Okay, it should be D uh, and here it is V stack. Parentheses are because it takes only one element, so you need to write like this. Okay. And if it is the horizontal stacking, uh, you can make it H stack and you can make it as A cross D. It's the same things. If it, if you not need to write the axis equals to 1, 0 and all the things, you can um, go with the signs, okay, or column stackings, all the things. And if you need to split your arrays, you have H split for splitting horizontally and V split for vertically splitting our data. Okay. So NP dot H split and you want to split your A in three parts. So you can make it like ups. What is the problem there? H is split. Any split does not result in unequal divisions. Okay, okay. A is having one, two, three, four. All right. The right A goes to this and np dot h split of this a uh, still having problems and in three parts okay done so area of one area of two and area of three okay if i say in five parts it would be a problem right for that we need uh, we have something else like right? we'll be doing a later on it's splitting somehow and with the same thing np dot v split the a in three parts we're getting in the vertical splittings okay like if i say to split c into okay, something like this okay and oops. 
way it is np dot split is not working see it is like if x is equals to a sum this let me copy this and So what do you see like if it is an arrange of nine numbers and you want to split your x in three parts it would be 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 7 8 now if i say that this is my y is equals to np dot a range of uh, 15 numbers okay but still i want to split my data 15 numbers are there but i want to split in 20 why module has no more of a range Oops. and split is not working it is split is not is it in any equal digits but it should it is not working it should give some empty arrays mm. the problem here Range of three and the splits of y to twenty. Object of With fifteen, you'll be getting individual. That is different. Why does not giving the different results blank array? Should give some blank edits also. Eight point zero and one, two, three, four. Array of this, 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 and one is being left. That's it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one, ten. Why? Okay, I'll, I'll see it better. So these are the things in the splittings, right? And yesterday's file, if I bring one again, let me go with through here. What we did yesterday is this: copy, paste, and then this copy. So, how many of you did this? Uh, let me stop your recording.